Welcome to Mr. Strongfork's office. Please make yourself comfortable while I inform him of your presence. Apologize for the jobbers. Won't happen again, sir. You cannot lose this job. My idea is a paradigm shift. One that could help Atlas beat the competition. Yeah, that sounds great. Convincing. Job saving. Right? Dr. Dar? Strong folk. Uh, is everything all right? Because I can come back if. No, no, no. Everything's fine. It's fine. I just got outbid again on an ultra rare Zero Volt Landers figurine. Again. It's an investment. You know. You know. You know what? Forget it. Never. Ne never mind. Just. Just come on in. Have a seat. Thanks for coming up on such short notice, but I figured I ought to just set a meeting as quickly as possible so we could touch base on the issue of you keep releasing jabbers on the ship again. You've got to stop doing that. It's just also, a misunderstanding. And eh, not sorry. We're I'm having a bad day. Up here, Doctor Dar. I did release them, and I'm not sorry. I will not condone, and I certainly will not participate in the needless torture of animals under the guise of scientific research, a byproduct of a capitalist system that thrives on violence. Wait, 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 wait. Why does this sound weirdly familiar? Oh, maybe because I wrote an entire mission statement about... Wait. You read my mission statement? Oh, God, the memo. That's right. Yeah, they were upgrading some of the circuitry in my office, and the bathroom door got stuck. So I had some time, I mean, a lot of time, to kill, and things got kind of desperate. I'm just saying I read every page that I used. Oh, God. The point is, you've proven that I can't trust you to follow corporate regulations. And what's more, you cost me a fortune. Do you have any idea? Any? I have guys in R&D working on cold fusion powered giant robots who spend less money than you've wasted on freeing animals from their cages. And Iridium ore. Oh my god, the Iridium ore. If I'd seen any evidence at all, a shred of it, that you had been using that Iridium ore to make something that, you know, we could sell or patent or eat, I wouldn't care, but... Now that... It's a pretty interesting little gun there, huh? Look at it all gun-shaped. This is no gun, Mr. Strongfork. This is my device. Okay. This device. Gun. This device is going to achieve something no one ever has. Something no one has come close to. Replicating the powers of a siren with the pull of a trigger. Now that's a pitch. Keep going, keep going. I'm serious. This is exciting. The cold future. You know, robot heart, can make yourself invaluable. You know, little, Give the hard sell. Much. This is the most powerful man made creation in the world. You need this, and you need me. Ooh, assertive. That's good. It's wrong, but it's good. Sorry? Anything you develop on Atlas property with Atlas money belongs to Atlas, so I don't technically need you to have that. But like I said, the, you know, the raw energy, that's great. Right. Okay. Decent pitch. I give it a C minus. Enough to not get you fired. Yet. So, 
I'm gonna need a demonstration to see what this adorable little game changer of yours can do. Absolutely, sir. If you have space in your schedule in two weeks' time. No? I meant now. There's no time like the present, right? So, present! But I haven't. It hasn't. It's in progress, and. It doesn't do anything, does it? No, no, it, it does. Just let me explain. Oh, by all means. And by all it means. Things, it things, it zaps really, things, it really faces good. things, it, uh, uh, oh, uh. Do you think? It's an energy manipulator designed to move any tangible subject through space time. Move through? Transport, yes. It's a phase walk gun? It's a phase walk device. A phaser. A phaser. A totally non-lethal, utterly decisive way to end any conflict. Wait. Non-lethal? Yes. So, to clarify, you have spent all the money and resources at your disposal that I gave you from my disposal to build a gun that does not kill people? I've built a device. Gun. Device that doesn't kill. It just sends people on a little vacation. A vacation to death? No, just a vacation. They literally vacate. Our customers don't want to send people on vacation. They want to send them to death. OK, OK. <laughs> you know what? Show me. Show me or put it on the desk and leave my office. OK. I, uh, I think you're really going to like this, sir. I am waiting to be deeply, deeply impressed here. I mean, floored, really, at this point, and I, <laughs> I've seen some shit, so... So do we shoot the statue and move it to the desk? Oh my god. Oh my god! Right? That wasn't the blast, dummy! It was my... It was on display! I can't... Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Impressive. It's very impressive. Now, you know, reverse phase. <laughs> Unzap. De-eliminate. Bring it back. Right about that. There's no reverse switch, sir. It only does the one thing, so far. It's a prototype. Well, where the hell did it send my stuff? I, uh, do not know. <laughs> so it's just... gone? Gone forever. Like so many fabric scraps in the wind. Coasting through the ether. I'll never see that tie again. I can get you some logical things, sir. It won't be the same. But Mr. Strong Fork! CEO of the Atlas Company, I am your assistant! Uh, yeah, Timmy, I know. Then now is my time to shine! Let me assist you! Wait, 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 Timmy, what? I will go on a quest to retrieve what you have lost, uh? Rescue mission! You would do that? For me? Of course I would! Mr. Strongfork! CEO of the Atlas Company! Doing anything and everything for you is literally the purpose of my existence. Yikes. Yeah, well, that's a fair point, actually. All right. Dr. Dar, let's try this again. On Timmy. Can we do it? Pull the trigger! Aye, aye, Jimmy. Timmy? Timmy? If he doesn't come back, you'll be hearing from me. Specifically, the sound of my tears. He'll definitely come back. I think. Someday. Can I just say, for a gun? Device. That's designed to be non-lethal? That thing is really doing some damage. Thank you? Not a compliment. You can't control it. You barely know what it does, except that it doesn't kill things, which makes it useless. 
It isn't designed to kill. Not everything needs to harm people. I feel harmed. I feel very personally harmed. Just not in a way that's profitable. Oh my god, why? Oh, Timmy, where are you when I need you most? <sighs> You've reached Reese Strongfork, the CEO of Atlas Corporation. Well, well. If it isn't Reese Strongfork. <laughs> Susan Coldwell, CEO of TDR. Why, why are you calling me? You know what? Can you hold on for just a sec? Dr. Dar, you may go. And if it wasn't clear already, uh, you're fired. But, sir... Susan, how'd they hang in? Oh. <laughs> Perky as ever, Reese. And you? Eyes and limbs all accounted for? Oh, yep. All good over here. Doing just great. Better than. Was there, uh, something you needed? You know the drill. I can't kill my target until they say their full name out loud and I am able to confirm its match against the name in the database. That's where you come in. So you must get my target to say their full name out loud. Must I have a lot of friends? We can't... You do it to yourself? Killing is wrong. Why do you always need my help with this? People become uncomfortable around assassination bots and tend to refrain from divulging any information out of fear they might be a target. People are not afraid of you. Thanks. Hey, I will be intimidating. You're looking at a future member of Forge's super successful Dirty 30. My optics cannot corroborate that data. What did they do, whoever you're about to kill? A man named Jamison Harwin kicked his neighbor's pet scat pup. So the neighbor contracted me to punish him. That son of a bitch. Did the scat deserve it? Is that all? Well I mean, did the skag do something to deserve getting kicked? Blaming the victim, Octavia. For shame. For shame. It's not that. Maybe it was self-defense. I said, for shame. Do you have any further questions before we begin the operation? What's your favorite flavor? Why do you do this? Do you it like your job? Just curious. Do you like your job? No. Then why don't you do something else? I am not capable of such a thing. Mm, tough economy, can't go back to school. It is beyond my programming. Woof. Capitalism. Jamison Harwin lives in that apartment complex. You will use the buzzer for apartment three to get him to come outside. I will be waiting nearby, with death. All right, I guess he deserves it. Let's go. With the sweepstakes, Hello? you're a prick. Pizza delivery. Is some kind of prank, I'm gonna come out there and beat your ass. Yeah, I got a pizza here for apartment three. What? I didn't order any pizza. No offense, but are you by any chance drunk, sir? W well, yeah. How the hell is that relevant? Drunk folk order pizza, then forget about it. Happens all the time. Think of me as a present from your past self. Well, all right. I'll be down. Just give me a sec. While I must admit your methods are strange, it seems to have worked. Now you must get him to say his full name before I can fulfill the contract. No problem. Give it here, kid. What gives? I come all the way down here and you Part don't even plot die? Kill you? Someone you stole it? This is a prank show. Boy. I got it in the car. Temper. Oh, dang! I forgot it in the car. I knew I was forgetting something. Uh, but before I go, can you confirm your full name for me? Yeah, it's Jameson Harwin. Now get moving! Um. 
You just got L0U13. Did I do it right? Nailed it. Jameson Arwen, we hardly knew you, but you did seem like a real bastard. Well done. I have received payment. Here is your commission, friend Octavio. Ooh, cash money! Make it rain! I'm meeting the crew Paco's. You in? I am indeed in. Though I still cannot fathom how you can eat food from a man who lives in the sewers and befriends Ratch. I use a lot of hot sauce. And that's how Papa Girardi makes a space calzone. Fascinating. I have an additional inquiry. You mentioned your past proclivity for stealing. As you know, many of my contracts have been for idiot petty thieves, such as yourself. Now, your sister. Anu. Your sister Anu disapproves of this proclivity and wishes for you to stop stealing. Are you heeding her counsel? It is a dangerous hobby, Larceny. Yes, but for my own sake, I'm stealing to survive. I listen to my sister. I'm not Anu's I'm robot. I'm not Anu's pet robot. I do what I want when I want. It's called free will. Know what I mean? No. Octavio! Hi. Louis? Let me introduce you to Diamond Danielle. A real thief and definitely not an idiot. Hmm. That's one way to introduce a friend. Sure. Greetings. Diamond Danielle must be a moniker. Since it obscures your real name, I have a 0% probability of killing you. Are you flirting with me, robot? No. Real charmer. He's working on his people skills. I am not. We're on our way to Pacos to meet up with Radon. Wanna come? Tacos? I'm there. You are not. We must ambulate there. Ignore him. many times do I have to tell you to sweep behind the counter, Octavio? Killing me! Help you out in a sec! You wanna help me? You'll give me what I asked for, and you know damn well what that is. Henry? Hank! What brings you around these parts? Same as always. You owe me for protection, and my price ain't budging. You know, usually a protection shakedown involves actually protecting a place. Didn't see you anywhere when Malawan was blasting holes in my store. Don't blame me for the whims of our corporate overlords. There's only one thing I want, and it's time to pay up. <sighs> I'm sorry, but there's no way I can give you a lifetime of free Froger tank. Not at the rate you eat it. Why? Huh? Do it! Hey, do it, or I'm gonna kill you! That's how it's gonna be? I tried to be patient. But you feed me enough frozen yogurt to keep me on a 24-7 sugar high, or I feed you the tip of this pick! Mm. I'm through asking. You're gonna give me what I want? Too much froger leave, or things get messy? Sure, we can problem. talk about this. You keep threatening me, and you're not gonna like where this conversation ends up. Mmm, sounds like somebody fell off the anger wagon. Yeah? Well, you think that makes me more or less worth screwing with? No, maybe... Maybe I just kill you and take this place over for myself. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And frankly, what'd be the difference? 
Huh? Whether it be an ice pick to the eye, or slowly wasting away in debt to the TDR Corporation, you are dead! Either way! Face it, Fran. You failed. Maybe you could have been somebody once upon a time, but that was a good 10,000 Frogerts and a Malawan laser ago. You have got nothing! No. I'm sorry, that was too generous. What about a discount? Let's not get to violence. You talk too much. No reason we have to get murderous today. Sure there is. It'd be fun. Now. Die quick. I'm hungry. Yeah, nah, we're good. That's a shame. You've come an awful long way just to die on an empty stomach. Yeah. Come on. You messed with the broom. Nah, this is your last chance. I could ask you the same open wide. I was really hoping this didn't have to get violent. Far as last words go, five out of ten. Jeez! Oh, oh, oh no! Is that blood? Am I bleeding? I tried to be nice, but this time you've gone too far. Shatter Hank, let him chill. You have a little bit of a time now, out there, you buddy. Just stay here and you think about your behavior. Me. One day at a time, right? These matter not, Fran. Your descent into rage is inevitable. Delicious and inevitable. Well, I sure as hell hope not. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> you hush, or I'll break you into cubes and serve you in lemonade. Coming, dear! What am I gonna do now? Where am I gonna go? I mean, we're in space. I live here. <sighs> What's Octavio gonna say? The way we left things. <sighs> I know this can work. I just need more time and someone with enough vision to see its potential. Oh, hey, Anu. No big deal or anything, but can you come back to the lab real quick? Like, really, really quick? Like, before you get killed? Killed? <laughs> That's a little dramatic, Fong. I got fired. It's a setback, sure, but not a death sentence. What? You got fired? Yikes and a half. That sucks. Wait, does that mean I'm fired too? You know what? Forget it. Not even on my list of things to stress about right now. We are in the middle of a TDR invasion with dudes in body armor and guns of an admittedly low. Joking around today is not the day. In the, the middle, what up? So, let's go. Could you repeat that? The sound of being fired is still ringing in my ears. It almost sounded like we're in the middle of an invasion. Yeah, so remember when Malawan tried to stage a hostile force takeover of Atlas back on Promethea? Of course, I'm from Promethea. It was devastating for Atlas, and they blew up Strongfork's favorite Frogert place or something. No, yeah, actually, my brother works there. Well, 
I guess TDR smelt blood in the water and decided it's their turn to take a stab at Atlas because they are a hundo P boarding this facility right now and it is hostile. Like very, very hostile. How do you know all this? Oh. Employees of Atlas, let's all give our surprise guests from TDR a warm welcome and show them what makes Atlas the company it is. And by warm welcome, I of course mean show them everything we've been working on lately at close range. Let's be elsewhere fast. <laughs> it felt weird. Oh, crap. Hide, hide, hide. If you were keeping an active vault key somewhere on your space station, where would you hide it? Boss lady said it's in his office, so that's where we're going. I just don't underestimate this guy, all right? Affirmative. I heard he ripped his own eyeball out. It's kind of crazy you don't mess with. Gentlemen, lovely to see you. I'd offer you a beverage, but my assistant Timmy was recently teleported to God knows where. Reese Strongford. We are here for the vault key and or your bloodied corpse. Hey, fellas, come on. Come in. Have a seat. Say, would either of you be interested in a career change? We've got some killer benefits. Gonna get a cocktail. Fired during a hostile takeover? Yeesh! Bet you can kiss your severance package goodbye. Oh no. I've got it right here. That door wasn't broken the last time I came through it. That's the thing about hostile takeovers. They're hostile. Hey, smell like guilt and shame. Did your mommy bring a pack lunch? Damn, there's an arrow. You don't actually click it. You wait for the next prompt to pop up. That keeps messing me up. <laughs> We're proud. Okay, now we click it. Nice and easy. Looks like we're not the only ones being invaded. They're headed down to Promethea, too. Didn't you say your brother was down there? He's a survivor, right? I'm sure he'll be okay. Octavio. Uh, uh, yeah, he, um, he's. I mean, so you have a careless? Sort of a punk, really. Gonna get himself killed? Eh, he's adopted. He's usually able to handle himself, but he's, well, he's sort of a small time hustler. Wow. He gets into the middle of everything. Armed TDO guards are exactly the type of threat he'd mouth off to and then be executed by. Well, that paints a picture. Oh, God. Let him be doing something quietly indoors for a change. I have to get down there and find him. He needs me. Well, hear me out. Maybe you let your brother save his own life while you save yours. You don't have a brother, do you? Only child. But I always imagine it'd be like having a pet. Dirtier? There isn't a life for me with Atlas. And there isn't a life worth living if it doesn't include Octavio in it. So I'm getting off of this tin can, one way or another. Well, there's only one way. And it's with a launch pod. Follow me. Hope your health is sensory wounds. You'd find out if you could land a hit. I'm trying. Don't be mean. Hope! Hope! Covering fire! Move, move! Take him down, man! How am I gonna get into a launch pod without being noticed? By asking me to cause one hell of a distraction. You'd do that for me? Sure. You may not have noticed with your head buried in your research, but we're friends. This is what friends do. And besides, causing a scene, that's something at which I excel. Fong, thank you. Yeah, don't mention it. Seriously, I have a reputation to uphold. Don't worry, we never will. 
You be careful out there, all right? You too, please. Oh, and hey, take this for me. I don't want these TDR bastards getting their hands on my lucky Vaultlander. It'll be safer with you. Is this you? Yeah, I won it in a stupid contest or whatever. No big deal. It's just like the only one in existence. Super rare and wasted on someone who doesn't play. But whatever, just get out of here before I change my mind. Fong, thanks again. Right. So I'm headed back that way. You go this way. There's a launch pod ahead. Make sure you get yourself in it. Hey, Tidior! I hear you're looking for a vault key. I know exactly where Strong Fork put it. Oh, quick question, though. Are any of you allergic to jabbers? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm about to profit off your violent end. <sighs> Hold on, Octavio. I'm coming. Destination.